first half of 2023, recession, inflation, massive layoffs all over the world, and I decided to quit my job in tech. Hi, I'm Cho. I'm currently a senior content specialist at an AI company, and today, April 1st, I handed in my one month notice. This job pays me well, lets me work from home, and exposes me to a completely new and exciting field. So, why did I quit during a downturn? Here are my three reasons why. And if you're finding yourself in the same situation, you might want to consider handing in your notice too. I can seriously tell you that I'm all burnt out. It's my eighth month in this job, and I haven't been able to catch a breath. Since I'm the only content writer in a small marketing team within a company operating in a struggling industry, my scope of work is pretty wide. If you have seen the news, there has been layoffs all over the world, starting in January. While it's lucky that my company hasn't fired anyone, no one new has been brought in either. And that means all employees have to wear multiple hats. I have been dividing my time between, well, my main job, of course, but then there's also sales and event planning and pro project management as well. I feel like I have been stretched out too thin. There were days when I had to work 12, 14 hours, and there were weeks when. I didn't have one single day off. And of course, I understand the situation the company is in. I completely sympathized with them. But constantly grinding like that has taken a huge toll on my mental health. I went to sleep thinking about work, dreaming about getting no likes or comments on new social media posts, and then waking up absolutely restless, physically sitting at my desk for eight hours straight has caused me extreme back pain. I have um, bought an ergonomic mouse and also this chair going away for the weekend, completely going offline outside of working hours. I usually compare unfinished tasks like stubborn tenants they live in my head rent free and they just don't shut down the moment my laptop closes. So it wasn't long until I found myself burnt out and I decided I want a break. If you are also experiencing the same thing, this is the sign to take a break. Have a, a very well deserved rest for yourself. My resting method is quitting altogether, hence the birth of this video. The second reason is I'm ready for something more. After three years of working, I think I've gained enough experience to go back to school. Last year, I applied to five universities in Australia and the Netherlands, and great news, I got accepted into Queensland University of Technology, and I will be doing a master's in digital communication there. This job actually inspired me to pursue higher education and to choose that particular program. Seeing the rapid development of AI, I can quite clearly see the role of the technical side of communication like data analysis to the efficiency of a marketing campaign. I would like to dig deeper into that and learn more about the use of AI AR, VR in communication. Ever since I had to take budgeting in uni, I have tried very hard to steer clear of the technical side of communication like data analysis. So it's going to be very challenging, but I'm also very excited to tackle it. And I also miss being a full-time student and this might be my last chance of being one because I don't plan on doing a PhD. So I gotta take this chance. If an advanced degree isn't on your list, but you still want to improve your skills, you can look for online courses. Ever since the pandemic, 
I have seen a huge increase in virtual courses and they are pretty high quality as well. So you, YouTube University of course is free and has a wide selection. I think I will be relying on Indian teachers the next semester when I have to learn to code. LinkedIn learning is pretty helpful to me too. edX Coursera, Skillshare also provide some great free courses, but if the one you are looking for is going to cost you a little bit, I would suggest that you propose to your manager and your employer that you will need the company's financial help. If it's reasonable and they see clearly the value of the course is going to bring to you and to them, more often than not, they will approve. So give it a go. And the last reason is, I think because of this job, I put everything else that matters to me on hold. And that includes my family and my friends, my personal relationship. I haven't been able to hang out with my friends whenever I could. I would call my friends and ask them to meet at a, a nearby cafe so we can work, work from home together. But those hangout kind of seem like me going to a cafe and s sitting next to someone who's also working. I and my friends didn't talk to each other the whole time we were, we were working at the cafe because everybody was so busy and so swamped in their own tasks. I also complained so much over and over again about the same problem to my friends and family and, and they don't deserve to be my emotional trash bin. So no quality time for my loved ones is kind of a deal breaker for me. I feel like I have been sacrificing my life for my work while work should only be a part of life. So that's the reasoning. What about the preparation? Right from the beginning, I decided that I would set up a savings account so that when the time comes when I need to quit, I would not have to worry about rent or food or, or any other basic needs for at least three to six months. How I did it is the moment I received my salary in my bank account, I would transfer half of the salary into my savings account because I know that the other half would be enough for me for the rest of the month. And here's how you can calculate that. So let's say you make a thousand after tax and you're living where I am, Hanoi. The rent bills included in Hanoi is around six million Vietnam dong per month. So that would round up to 250 US dollars. Groceries are around $50 per month. If you die out or go to cafes on average twice a week, that would be $150. Other stuff including entertainment, subscription, shopping might cost you around another $150. So that will leave you with $400 for saving. And these costs might differ depending on your needs your basic needs, your one and where you live. I particularly don't pay rent. I also have extra income sources. I also thrift. Those are just a few ways I s could save up more money. I would suggest that you try saving 30% to 40% of your salary, of your monthly wage. So after recording I picked up a book called Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness by Jim Rohn. Very interestingly, in this book, there's a chapter called How to Achieve Financial Freedom. And within this chapter, there's a rule that Jim Rohn stated called the 70-30 rule. What this rule is, is that you must learn to live on 70% of your after-tax income and the 30% would be allocated in three ways. It would be for donation, capital investment, and savings. The method that I, I was suggesting is actually a legit 
financial advice from a successful businessman. That is all I wanted to add. Let's get back to the video. So that's the money part. Let's talk about the mentality part. Just no doubt, what will you do in the next, realistically, two to three months? Will you be looking for other jobs? Will you be taking on side hustles? Will you be enrolling in courses? Doing anything that you believe is helping you move closer to your ultimate goal. I know that quitting in this economy is scary, but if you truly believe that is something you have to take, do it. Don't succumb to societal expectations. Don't feel pressured into staying at a dead end job because everybody is telling you to do so. And don't sacrifice your well being for the sake of employment. I truly think there's no shame in doing what is best for you. So go for it. And that is the end of this video. Once again, I'm To. I'm a digital writer trying to make it in YouTube after so many years of preparing for it, of waiting for the right moment. I am now finally taking the leap. Here I share stories, tips, and insights to help improve the quality of your work and your life, as well as helping non-native English speakers like myself to succeed at online writing. So if that's the kind of content you are interested in, stick around. See you next time. Bye.